All right, let's get stuck into some news. Positions, please. Good legends, and welcome back to the episode of That's Lockout Bulletin for a Tuesday. As always, thank you so much for joining me. You're probably thinking, why am I standing in front of a big Carrera banner, uh, some Carrera sets, and I'm wearing a Carrera race instructor long sleeve t-shirt? Well, we can kick off the news with that. Very big thank you to Zimbla and Carrera. I am receiving some current stock from them uh, to review for you in the slot shed. And where I am standing right now is the dedicated Carrera track and area. I have different locations for different tracks. We've got the Scale Electric location, which I'll have Scale Electric on display. We have the Carrera location, where I'm gonna build hopefully a big Carrera track. And then we're gonna have the massive Scale Auto track, plus some little tracks here and there. So that's why I'm wearing this, because Carrera has jumped on board to support the channel. Uh, so I really do appreciate them. So thank Thank you very much Carrera and I do have an unboxing to do with an incredible review probably I'm gonna have to go on the limb and say it's my favorite set that I think's ever been released when it comes to a slot car set in the last 10 years is that too specific Pacific I hate that word but let's move on to some real news and Carrera showing off some incredible pics of the Nicky Lauda legendary BMW M1 Pro car. Big fan of this. Uh, you do know I'm a big fan of Carrera. The cars perform really well out of the box. Whilst I'm talking about cars performing out of the box, remember your Carreras out of the box will perform well. Uh, they don't need much adjustments. You might have to put some grease or oil if you use them a lot, but they're not the kind of cars that you have to really work on. So remember that, they are your home set cars. Out of the box, you've got really, really good quality when it comes to how the cars look and their performance, and they perform well on their own track. So there you go, something new from Carrera. And next we have Scarlet Trick celebrating their very first birthday for the hashtag on track exhibit at the Silverstone Museum. Beautiful looking track, as you can see here in the video. Will my track look as good as this? I hope so, I'll do my best, maybe not. I'll do my best, I'll see what I can do. But a really cool exhibit. Uh, if I'm ever back in the UK, I would love to go and visit this. They host some really good events there. And the track, again, looks incredible. So happy first birthday to Scalatric at the On Track exhibit at the Silverstone Museum. And continue with the congratulations, SRC. The I think it's the sub team from SRC, like a sister team. Uh, the Rotem, Rotem SRC, they had their first win. Now, we do know SRC makes some incredible rally cars, but they also make some incredible race cars, and their Porsche and their Toyota are performing really well. So, congratulations to Team Rotentem slash SRC, like a sister team, because uh, they took out the win. Really cool. Next up, we have Fly. Do we have any Porsches today? No, we don't. No Porsches, but we do have a really cool Renault, and it's not the Turbo 5, it is the Renault 5 GT Turbo. This is the front banger, well, that's what we say in Australia, the front wheel drive version, and of course the Renault Turbo 5, the one that we all know, the Maxi, the rear wheel drive, rear engine, that is a, a Frankenstein version of this, uh, but I do like this one, I'm a front wheel drive fan, I think this looks cool. We've got two versions here, the first one is the Rally Costa Bravia, 1987. Again, I'm a massive fan of this car. I think it looks cool. I do like what Fly put out. I know I bang on about their Porsches, but they do make some beautiful cars. And the second one is the Renault 5 GT Turbo Rally Beach Diaro. I think I said that right, 1988. This is their E-Club car. And I think if you do purchase it, if you are an E-Club member, as this photo, you can see they do a dedicated uh, number card for you. So whatever your member number is, I guess, uh, it'll be written directed to you, which is really cool touch. So two Renault 5 GT turbos by Flyslot. And next we have Slotted showing off something coming very soon. One of my favorite brands of all time, let's say together, Porsche. We have the Porsche 956K, the second thousand kilometer uh, Imola from 1984. I say it every time. If you don't have a slot in your collection, please get one. They perform really well out of the box and they look really good. High performing cars that look really good. So check it out. And on to Polycar, of course, the sister company to slot it. Coming soon again, we've got the BRM 153, car number 20, the South Africa GP from 1970. Uh, of course, Polycar do the historic style of cars. I do love this. I love the old school F1 cars. This looks incredible. Uh, I think our slot cars were very sport, they're very model-like, and yes, they perform around a track. So, if you're wanting to add a beautiful, old BRM 153 car number 20 from Polycar, well, it's coming soon. 
And next up, we haven't had Hobby Classics on the channel for some time, and I've been waiting for this one. If you remember, I think it was called the IMD show last year, about this time. They showed off some, I think it was renders plus maybe a very early mold of the Say It 1500F Assists Service Limited Edition 75 Units Vehicle say that 300 times in a row. I like this, it's very different. You can see the real car here. I think there is a definitely a space for this kind of car, this kind of collection in the hobby world because we do get flooded with race cars. But having the Seat 1500, which is a service vehicle, if you are a collector, you want to sort of have a car situated around your track, it might be uh, perfect for your layout period, the time period that you've built the, the track. Well, this might just do the job, but that's 75 units, I'll jump in quick, because the Hobby Classic cars do sell out fast. Oh, and if you want to know what kind of motor configuration that chassis is, it is an inline. Looking at the upside down version of the chassis, you'll be putting an inline motor in this. And next, a bit of a race recap from Scale Auto. I did say last week, if I can get anything from them or if I find any news, I'll let you know. There is no footage that I've found so far, but the Wes Portugal 24 hour, here are some night picks. And remember, this is a 24 hour race and they do mimic it like the real world. So if it's night time, well, it's night time. And the cars do need to have active lights on this. So that's why you can see when you set a rule set saying you need some LED lights or active lights, this is why. And next up we have Mag racing with the covered grandstand. Pfft, this thing is epic. Uh, not only is it a grandstand, it's got like a little shop downstairs. If I was buying this, I'll be putting an Oscar Piastri fanboy stand, because I love Oscar Piastri, McLaren, come on mate, fourth on the weekend, yeah boy. Uh, you can put whatever team you want, these look good. Yes, you have to build them, not that hard to build, well, they're very easy to build. The painting's the part which comes down to you. Am I the best painter? No, I get away with it. I enjoy it, it's a bit relaxing for me. But if you are an artist, you can make whatever you want. If you're not, have fun with it. And whilst you're building it, your house will smell like a fireplace and about three years later, that smell might disappear. Beautiful smell from the boys from Magnetic Racing. And next up, RTS showing off their first track for sale. This is the two-lane road course designed by George from Area 51. Another exciting and great channel. Jump over there, his YouTube channel is great, knows a lot about scratch building. He can race a car uh, and he's designed the track. It is $14.99 US. I think that's a pretty damn good price. Um, I don't think you better get it in Australia because of shipping, you can try, but really cool for the US viewers. And if you are in America, here is an off the shelf uh, racing track by RTS. So congrats to the boys, really cool move. I can't wait to see these around the wild and maybe there might be a global league. That'd be cool. Yeah. And next up we have some racing in Australia. First off, Mike from Shoshi Slots with the Revo Championships. If you want to go, get in touch with him, book your tickets. I'm going, I can't wait to go and lose. I mean, win. If you want to come and beat me, please book your tickets. It's an incredible venue. Mike is a great host and you'll have a lot of fun. And it's a big weekend of racing, but it's worth the trip, trust me. And if you also want to race in Melbourne, Australia, my own backyard, reach out to Pete from Mr. Slot Car. He's doing the NSR Championships. I still have to get my ticket in. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be in Melbourne then. If I am, I will try and get some racing done. If not, I will see if I can attend and film. Another awesome venue, you won't be disappointed. So reach out to Pete from Mr. Slot Car. Get your ticket in, get racing now. And for this week's car of the week, we're not going retro, we're not going vintage, we're going scratch built. Now, if you don't know, another great channel, Shotgun Dave, well, he's also got a great Facebook page. It's Shotgun Dave Scratch Build Slot Cars. Uh, this was posted by Matt Hazelden. I hope I said that right, Matt. It is the Fokker. Got to be very careful how I say that, and that's why I left it to the end of the video, because I think you can swear on YouTube about eight minutes in. Maybe not. Uh, so this is the Fokker. It's the only picture I've got of it because it's on the Facebook group, so I did yank it from there. What can I say? I'm a huge fan of Scratch Build. Can I do it? No. I can build model kits, and I can do a little bit here and there. A full Scratch Build? Yeah, my, my wouldn't be spelt with an F-O-K-K-E-R. Mine would be spelt different if I did it. It'd be a... I won't say the word, but anyways, no, I will say it will be a f up. <laughs> so there you go. There is this week's car of the week. <laughs> so that's wrap on today's edition of That Slot Car Bulletin for a Tuesday. As always, a massive thank you to you all for tuning in. I do have an unboxing coming. You can see I'm wearing a new shirt. I do have another size in this. It doesn't fit, so let's do a giveaway. Uh, this one is an extra large. 
maybe it's the tummy. Uh, and I do have a set to review. It's my favorite set I've, I've seen by Carrera, I think ever. Like, I've got to say that. It's, it's there, but I'm not going to show you yet. Members have already seen it. I've already done a quick unboxing for the members. They get all the unboxings first, all the deliveries I get, they get first. If you want to be a member and see videos early, jump over there. And they get a lot of behind the scenes stuff. So they already know what I've got coming to the channel. Um, I've got to apologize to Outlaw Slots. I was meant to go today. I did run out of time. I think I will now leave it till next week because it's going into the Easter holiday. And I'm also waiting for the review car from Full Earth because I do want to take that and test it there. I can't wait for that. But if it doesn't come by next Tuesday, I'm going anyways. I've got some Revo slots. I've got a Datsun brushless and I got a couple other goodies to play with. Yeah. So I will put a post up in the community because I was meant to be there today and time got away. But as always, at that soccer guy on Instagram, YouTube, and all those great places. If this is the kind of content you like, please consider subscribing. I just uploaded the video of the Lot Shed 2.0, how we're working every day. I'm adding to it. We've got shelving. Uh, I'm doing as much as I can as a one-man band. I think it's going to be a pretty epic place once we finish. But be safe. Take care. Support your local. Bye. Too far away.